Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and once again, it's time for a breakfast chat. And yes, I am in my ugly Christmas sweater because this is day six in Houston without heat. I at least have power now. I don't have running water. I don't have heat, so I'm cooking and washing dishes with bottled water. Fortunately, me being a prepper, I have a six-month supply of water on hand. So, at least I'm able to, to do that. I'm even having to flush my toilet with bottled water this morning. But I'm here eating beef and rice. Let's talk about Greg Doucette replying in my comments. Now, he jumped up and tried to claim that what I did was clickbait. I'm not interested in clickbait. I barely discuss anything in the community anymore. My channel these days is about documenting my training, discussing coaching, discussing strength training, and using it as a funnel for my coaching business, which is my primary job and income. I am a strength coach by profession. It's what I do for a living these days. It's been that way for a while. So he made this video about good mornings. And then everyone who knows me knows these days, I am a massive advocate of good mornings. I have said my clients on Team Blaha, no matter what sport they compete in, even my non-competitors, we live on box squats and good mornings. And good mornings are a staple exercise. They're an exercise I legitimately and truly believe have a place in every single person's training. Unless they have a physical injury or, or issue that prevents them from being able to perform the exercise. That's, that should be an exception for any mandatory exercise. I don't consider the good morning to be optional. All of my clients do them. All of them. So... I'm pretty passionate about this lift, I believe is a staple exercise, or at least variations of it. So when you have someone like Greg who makes a video like that, a bunch of people linked it to me. I don't watch Greg. I don't care what Greg does. I don't care about bodybuilding. Okay, it's not an interest of mine. I don't know who won the Mr. Olympia this year. I don't I don't have any idea. I don't follow it. But he made the video and I made a relatively respectful defense of it, and I did do a screenshot of his terrible form. Now, he came in the, into my comments claiming, oh, you're just clickbaiting, showing me, making fun of the forms. Like, well, no, Greg, because that is what you demonstrated. That is what I have to go on, okay? You did that form as a demonstration of a good morning. I have no other info on your knowledge of the good morning other than that, because I don't watch your channel. And here's the thing. Instead of creating a defense... He made a couple of posts, made a couple of posts. Uh, I have screenshots of all of it. Other people have already jumped in. Alan Roberts jumped all over that ass, by the way, in my comments below for anyone who wants to see that. Um, Greg, maybe you should say his name. Throw that out there. Then we go stir in a pot. You should probably say his name, Greg. And he raised an interesting point because Greg could not defend could not defend his position in no way and a lot of people noted that they put in other comments all through there he had no defense all he argues about is are you going to show me doing curls wrong next no greg because i don't care about curls half of my clients don't do curls i don't care he says well i don't have people asked to grass squat either neither do i I don't think it's appropriate for all people. I think less than half of lifters should be trying to do a full Olympic squat. Okay? I don't disagree with that. I don't perform the full squat. I do power squats. It's completely irrelevant to the topic. He talked about everything but the actual topic, which was good mornings, and me calling him out on his ill-informed, ignorant-ass, stupid-ass stance. Because that's what it was. And any strength coach who understands a good morning should be offended by the level of stupidity that he presented. It's just a dangerous exercise with no biomechanics to back it. No data, no information, no actual reason. No reason at all. And people, he can't claim, well, I've hit this, these lifts and therefore I'm caught because people way, Greg, people a fucking hell of a lot stronger than you endorse the good morning and program it for all their lifters. You can't use that defense because people way fucking stronger than you endorse the good morning as one of the greatest lifts on earth that, that all people who want to get strong should be doing. You can't fall back on that. 
I could make the argument that your squat was your worst lift ever in competition relative to your others. Good mornings, bring up the squat. Maybe you would have had a better squat. But that's the thing, you know, he would not defend his position. Nothing but smoke and mirrors and distracting and, and moving in other directions, which is what I would expect from him. He has no good content on training these days. He discusses diet, and that's fine. I mean, he gives a lot of diet advice, but as Roberts pointed out, he claimed, well, I give advice for the general person, and therefore good mornings are, are I don't think they're good. They shouldn't be doing them. You tell people to take ephedrine, okay? You are telling people to take ephedrine, a drug to lose weight. You're telling people to use nasal spray, to drink cough syrup, all these things, all these drugs for weight loss. Do you think that's appropriate for the average recreational lifter? Do you think that's appropriate for your teenage lifters that you're telling them to take ephedrine to lose weight? All right, you can't pull that bullshit and then come to my channel and tell me that good mornings are dangerous. You're telling me that ephedrine is safer than good mornings? If you're really saying that, Greg, then fuck you. You're a stupid, lying piece of shit. Period. If you think that that's safer, because correctly done good mornings don't hurt people. They don't hurt people at all. I'm the same age as you. Actually, I might be older than you. I do 555 pounds on the good morning. I do set to 20 with 275. After Actually, the video I put up with my stuff and a bunch of my lifters doing them, I'm 44 years old. I do five. I did the a couple weeks ago. I did 555 on that lift, and then afterwards I did three sets of 20 with 277 pounds. My back is great. All right. So so don't come and give me this nonsense that is it's dangerous exercise. It's prescribed some variations that are prescribed by physical therapists to rehab people's backs. Not only is it a safe exercise, it's an effective exercise for injury prevention. While you're telling people to drink cough syrup and take ephedrine to lose weight. And I expect him to dodge the question. Let's be honest here. Greg has been, to my knowledge, if I'm understanding it correctly, and correct me if I'm wrong, he's had records stripped from him for passing drug tests. And his, his excuse for failing a drug test Oh, it must have came from a supplement. I was dieting. I would have never taken the substance that he listed. It has a detection life over a year. You're telling me you were dieting for over a year straight, walking into a powerlifting meet? You, you dieted for 18 months? Okay. So you failed a metabolite test for a long-lasting one, but that doesn't explain your T to E ratio. Therefore, we know you're lying. Anyone who knows how drug testing works knows that that was a lie. It was a cop-out. You cheated. You cheated and thought you would get away with it. Same thing. It's a person who, when he got caught up in a massive steroid ring that he was a part of, he rolled on all of his friends. The guy rolled on his friends to get out of jail time. I get that. But Greg, you're not going to come to my channel and bullshit me. I'm not one of your stupid ass 16 year old followers who because you've got abs and you do bodybuilding and you've done all these things that they're just going to accept when you say incorrect and bad stuff. And then if you're going to come over here and try to talk to me on my channel, you're in my house. I'm a 44 year old grown man. Greg, do you understand that if you pop off to me man to man the way that you did and dodge the question in my own house, I would have probably slapped you in the mouth. Because you're not strong anymore. Let's be honest here. Greg, you're not strong anymore. What, why have you lost all this strength and muscle? You've admitted to staying on pretty hefty amounts of gear for years. Why did you lose all of it? What are you lifting these days? Why are you smaller? Why are you weaker? You've still been on gear. You're training that bad? The fact that you don't know how to perform a good morning and you think it's a dangerous exercise tells me a lot. 
combine that with the fact that you've still been on something like four or five, 600 milligrams year round, you've lost enormous amounts of size and strength. What did you have to do to get your strength that high? How much stuff did you have to take to get your bench that high, Greg? Seriously. And I'm trying not to be a dick these days, guys. I'm trying to be a nicer person. But when this ignoramus ass clown who puts on a fake voice who's telling his 16-year-old kid audiences to drink cough syrup and take ephedrine to lose weight comes to my channel, he acts like a little bitch. Okay? Come to my channel and you acted like a little bitch and you couldn't even defend your position. I'm going to be a dick back because he deserves it. Okay? He came over to my house, behaved like a little bitch, talking about curls. Instead of defending his position on good mornings, which is flat out wrong and ignorant. I'm going to have to be a dick at that point. You guys can see the comments, unless he comes through and deletes it. I stickied them to the top. You can see other people's responses. You guys can see even Alan Roberts jumping all in him. Okay? All right, guys. Well, that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.